on the rant. U of L fans are sounding off on the bad experiences they had at the opening home football game here in Louisville on Saturday. Long lines to get in, failures causing issues in scanning the tickets and taking debit and credit cards for concessions. Well, today, Athletic Director Vince Tyray said they are experiencing severe labor shortages and that they're also having trouble staffing even part time roles. So as part of the solution, they're going to be offering price cuts on things like beer and other things for Friday night's home game. We're going to tell you a lot more about what they announced today coming up after Ben's weather in just a second. But first here on the rant line, your calls about Kentucky's place in the nation as one of the worst states with high COVID infection rates. How you doing, Doug? Doug, this is Leslie. And I was just wondering, do the universities really care about the kids in the stands doing football games? Because all these football games that's going on TV right now, you know, from, from the big universities, nobody has a mask on. There's no social distance or nothing. Hi, Doug. I'm calling about why the state of Kentucky has quickly become one of the worst states in the United States where the COVID-19 variant is concerned. One, we have too many politicians that are worried about keeping their safe seats and not worrying about human lives. Two, we have too many people that have gone on and acted as if this thing was over. This is Penny from Louisville. I'm glad that our lawmakers are allowing us to have a choice. I did get COVID, but was told that even if I'd been vaccinated, I could still get COVID. Now, Robert in Louisville on the Kentucky General Assembly's removal of mask mandates for the schools. People who are vaccinated are complaining about the people that are not vaccinated. If the vaccine works so well and you got the vaccine and you are so confident in the vaccine, then you should not worry about the people that are not vaccinated. Whatever happened to my body, my choice, or does that only work when it fits certain narratives? Sharon in Louisville emailing the rant. Heaven forbid our governor act in the interest of the people using CDC guidelines. Get rid of politicians who are focusing on their interests and not the people they represent. On the mess at Cardinal Stadium over the weekend, lack of staffing and the scramble to get more workers in place. Jeremy in Shepherdsville, without the staff, this is just going to cause longer lines and more frustration Friday night. Thomas and Radcliffe, a few years back, I remember a coach complaining that the fans didn't even get to their seats until after kickoff. Now they'll be standing in line before and until halftime. Daniel and Shively, why complain about long lines in any service industry right now? No one is willing to work. The fast food places by my house have gone from 24 hours to closing at 8 p.m. For the foreseeable future, everywhere you go, the service will be spotty. Get used to it. Good point there, Daniel. Jeremy in Old Louisville, winning. That will go a long way towards improving the fan experience. <laughs> Doesn't matter what school you're talking about, Jeremy. That seems to be the way it goes. Well, again, more on what Vince Hyre had to say about all of this in just a minute. In fact, right after weather. On another note, I'd like to hear your opinion on the vaccines at the moment. We have a history with them right now over the past few months that allows you to reflect on their true effectiveness. More people are choosing now to get a shot to avoid hospitalization in case you become one of the breakthrough cases. Here's how you can rant. Let me know what you think on my Facebook page, WHAS 11 Doug. You can use Twitter and follow me on Twitter if you like. I'm at WHAS 11 Doug on Twitter. Keep your emails coming to the rant. The email address is the rant at whas11.com. Several emails on the air tonight. And the toll free rant line is open. I'll be listening to your calls tonight at 855 749 1101.